Hi guys, welcome back to Every Day with me, Nick. That comma there is to extend the with me, Nick. <laughs> uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, what can I say that sums me up in a short sentence? Um, I've got no consistency. There we go. <laughs> um, I've got a chicken. I've got a few chickens, but this one's free and wild. I've got two dogs, got two kids, got a girlfriend, got a sawmill, got a mini digger. Uh, <laughs> where else have we got? All right, girl, shush, shush, shush. Uh, so yeah, um, I, I kind of do all sorts. The the uh, the channel uh, basically says every day with me, Nick, because I just don't know what I've got going on every day, you know. So it's just everyday occurrences. Um, we have a we have a, a field that's like an acre, almost an acre. It's right on bordering um, residents' properties, sort of thing. So, you know, we have got inclusions, exclusions, inclusions in place. All right, Donna. But yeah, basically, I just do all sorts. There's no real consistency to what I do. I just try and bring you guys along. Uh, so what are we doing today then? This is consistent because what I've been doing the last couple of days, uh, it's been getting things set up to uh, mill some um, some cladding boards for um, this build. Well, this 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 uh, framework that I've put up. Uh, I haven't done a video on this because uh, everything's a bloody mess at the moment. Like, but I haven't done a video because um, it di I, I didn't want to take up most of my time on it. But what I've done is. The, each each leg is uh, a scaffolding pole. Now, I went and deconstructed this. The, the, it was a big greenhouse. It was 36 foot long. And um, these trusses were spaced 8 foot apart, or 2.4. But what I did is I thought, I'll just put one, uh, two, two trusses up 8 foot apart. But when I actually put the poles up, these these ones, that one, that one, that one, and this one. I looked inside and I thought, Christ, that's not big enough. But I didn't want to extend it another eight foot because I just that's I didn't want to do that. So I extended it another four foot. So now I've got twelve foot by fourteen foot, or four point two by three point six. So I've got this up. Uh, there is some as i've put it up I've, I've i've noticed some things so um what i might have to do here is i don't know if you can see up here look where where my roof's gonna come that i want this to carry straight down if that makes sense because at the, currently uh, it's not not right so i either pack it up with wood all the way up on these tops on these trusses which is probably a good idea or I uh, cut that off. I think I'm gonna pack it. I'm gonna put a wood wood runner all the way up the top there. Uh, I think that's I think that's the best course of action. Um, but what we're doing is we've got some spruce spruce logs on the uh, on the mill now. Uh, I've just milled up one yesterday off camera off camera. It was just whilst we had the kids round and Isaac wanted to do a bit. So I put this log on and uh, we've got. Um, in 20 mil pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pieces. That bottom one's probably gonna be no good, so say ten. So I'm leaving them with the round edge, live edge, and uh gonna leave the bark on because once it dries it'll just peel off, it'll just come off nicely. So that is the plan, and it'll be live edge, just like here's one I made earlier in the year, just like that. So can you see how these live all the bark come off and all the live edges left over? I'm gonna do it much better than this one. <laughs> this one was just a mock-up for it was the original sawmill shed, <laughs> to be honest. Uh I when I had this, because obviously this is pla in place, it, it can't move, it's fixed. I just had the shed over the uh over the sawmill head, keeping out the weather. So yeah. That's what we've got going on. I've got two more on the on the uh, mill there. I think I'm going to need more. I know I'm going to need more. But each leg of these trusses, because I was going to just focus on the roof, but I might just go for it and just get it done. Uh, eight foot aside. Well, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Well, it, <laughs> I think they are. I think it's eight foot aside. So 2.4 from the pitch. But I'll bring it down a bit. 
and right because I'll leave an air gap up there <sighs> yeah so that's what we've got going on that's the deal of today so stick around guys and uh, I hope it's going to work out I don't want to put another pole in between the um, I've got another truss left because I had four but I don't want to put another pole in between that eight foot section because I want to leave that as my door as, as a way in I was going to make I was going to have the, the gable, one of the gable ends as a door as an entrance like fully open but I'm not going to bother now I think it would cause too much of a wind tunnel I think but things can change so who knows so yeah I'm going to have to do a bit of framing bit of this bit of that and to get it away yay it's going to take a little bit of ingeniosity if that's a word all these slabs here are going to have to move again, but I need to get them milled down again because they were the result of the 10x10 10 10 beams that I was making. They were monstrous, very heavy. Good job I had the uh, Kubota tractor, which is just behind there. And um, I even had to look twice there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, them, them uh, need to get to milled again, these slabs, because uh, I need some 8-foot um, boards, uh, some 2-inch uh, boards, because I'm going to make some more picnic tables. So yeah, happy days. Sit back guys, just relax. Get a cup of tea, get a cold beverage, get an alcoholic beverage, whatever you like. Just watch me mill. Um, what I, I will say, I've, I've, I've sharpened up two more blades there, um, wherever wherever they are in my sawmill shed, somewhere back here. Um, they are, uh, one, one hasn't been sharpened before. I don't know how it got missed, but it was in the shed hung up. One's been sharpened about four times now, so it's set probably about poor, very poor. Um, but I have got a tooth set coming from Woodland Mills, so wait till that comes. <sighs> Babbling on seven minutes. What is going on? Right, carry it. Right, I'm going bag up. Right, so as you see, we've got the log on the mill, and um, uh, I've got the wrong end at the wrong end at the right. <laughs> I've got the small end at that end, which prefer to have the small end at this end, at the saw head end, because at least I know where I can start with milling. Um, I think you can see me. Um, so it doesn't matter. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just take an initial cut. I could be very accurate and start doing this and getting measurements, but guess what? I'm not going to. So these little spruce logs, we don't have to lift them too far because they're not that big. But uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five alive, baby. Right, let's start her up. She probably needs petrol during this cut, so we'll do that at some point. I think I jinxed it, didn't I, by saying it needed petrol. Never mind, it needed petrol, didn't it? So. Right, let's try that again, guys. There we go.
technical difficulties with the engine. I think it's a plug. I think. Might have to buy a new one. Turn the engine off now. Or get me blower. to turn it off now because all my bloody things clogged up with sawdust oh there's always something guys always something i'll bring you along on this one though show you what i mean it's beyond fault really like it's because i didn't clean the uh i didn't empty the bucket in time so it's my own fault you ready? So let's uh, let's empty the bucket first. Right, we'll empty that first. Right. Now we'll uncover the mayhem of what's beneath. I thought, I thought as much.
I mean, the sprue smells very nice, but you don't want it gathering up in there. This has single-handedly got to be one of the best tools for a sawmill cleanup. <laughs> it makes life so much easier. for a treat on this one guys <laughs> we're making spruce paper let's see how thick this is I should really go get me dernier shouldn't I got one it van it's three mil thick that three mil thick ah it's that <laughs> I was gonna make an arch there it broke on the knot oh well Who says you can't make veneer on the uh, OS27? I certainly say you can. Right, let's get these piled up. Right, so you get the idea. A bit, a bit dark in here, isn't it? Uh, Yeah, so you get the idea. Um, well, it took me half hour, 40 minutes to mill a complete log down. I'm left with 40 mil here because I need some strips for the roof. So I need uh, six pieces. I've got one there, I've got one there. So I should, if I make them 50 mil a piece, Yeah, I 
should get about four each one I'll get four 50 mil pieces each one by 40 mil so that should be more than enough and they're going to clag to the top of the uh, to the top of the trusses and uh, fix on some how ask me another question how I don't know yet <laughs> uh, but yeah that's that's the that's the plan um, so I'm gonna get this one took off roll this other one back on uh, roll this other log behind me on and um, get that milled down that's the wrong way around as well um, don't know what was going on with the mill there wasn't uh, wasn't wanting to fire up was it I had to give it full throttle to try and get it to I wonder if I've stopped it whilst it still had revs and it's like kind of like built up a little compression by like you know a little flooded out so I don't know I'm talking bull Anna. right let's get time lapsed up Well, you see, that's exactly what I mean with every day with me, Nick, at the beginning of this video. I said to you, there's no real consistency. And I walked wrong. I started off milling spruce logs to try and make them into some siding. And then I started going on with the, with the um, hmm, we'll call it scaffolding pole shed. Alan come by. He's good lad, Alan. And uh, he helped me do the tractor. He was the one who helped me strip and do the uh, tractor clutch on the Kubota L4630. And um, I had these bits cut, obviously that's what I was cutting them for. And we've had a right good laugh. He, um, he's, not, he's, not, he's not afraid to say it that he didn't, you know, he didn't go to school much or he didn't, didn't attend it fully and all that, but he's a very clever guy. He don't have to go to school to be clever. 
and uh, we've had a right laugh there. We only want it spacing um, between each and we couldn't work it out between us. I mean, I went to school and I was like, I said, give me my calculator. So I got calculator out, we calculated it, we were still wrong. Calculator only calculates what you put in. So, um, but yeah, we've got uh, the, what we call it, purlins, purlins, that's it. All right, Pete. So yeah, we've got the purlins put up, and we've just got the sheet. I've just got the sheets to cut to size now. Yeah, don't know. Uh, because they are ten foot, and I think twelve, uh, ten foot, well, two foot over around be too much anyway. So that's that. But yeah, it's strong, it's sturdy, so that's the main thing. Yeah, it's uh, just, there's just no consistency. I taught you. It'll be a good, it'll be a good thing once that's done. It'll be all lopsided horizontally they'll look look good look look good and be good i think we've just got some scaffy poles along like diagonal and one on the other side because um just keep it all plumb till we're ready to do what we need to well it's kind of done anyway now so uh, i need to mill six more pieces of wood and they're going to bolt on uh upright so that I can fix on to. So yeah, that's that's what's coming up. Plenty going on. Donna, what are you pecking my feet for? There's no there's no grubs in my on my boots. So that's it guys. Thanks very much for watching. I told you we're just all over the place here. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna pack up for the day. I forgot to pick, uh, lift the chicken out of the freezer today, so that looks like that's going to have to go to the shop. Uh, so much going on in my head, guys. I need to write things down. Take it easy. Hope everyone's uh, doing well. Obviously, I should have asked that at the beginning of the video, but I keep forgetting about what I should say, and it just... Yeah. Take it easy, guys.